Hello mathematicians, welcome to the Incite My Life channel. Today we're going to be talking about graphing linear equations. So that's the use of tables, standard form, and slope intercept form. So let's talk about graphing with tables. So in order to graph with a table, you have to establish points for x and derive y. Okay, so in other words, we're going to take our um, our problem, which is y equals 2x plus 1, and we're going to set up a table of x and y values. And you might have seen it written like this. Not always. Some professors like to leave out that middle column where it says y equals 2x plus 1, and they just leave it as x and y. I like to add in the middle column. That way we can see what's going on per point that we're using. So we plug in our x values, and it could be any value that you want to make it. So you can make it 100 or a million if you wanted, but you definitely want to try and pick the easiest values for yourself. So I'm going to pick some pretty common ones. I'm going to pick negative 1, 0, and 1, and I'm going to use those to plug into my equation in the middle. So where you see x, we're going to plug in negative 1, 0, and 1. And when we work out those equations, we're going to find that our y values are negative 1, 1, and 3. And then from there, it's just as easy as taking the x and the y and putting it together as one point. So negative 1 comma 1, or I'm sorry, negative 1 comma negative 1 is our first point, 0, 1, and then 1, 3 is our third point. Now what we're going to do is we're going to plot those points on this graph. So let's label our first point as A, our second is B, and our third is C. So the way you do it is you take the x-axis first, okay, because the points are labeled as x comma y. So the x-axis is the horizontal axis. Okay, Think of the horizon, right? When you look out at the horizon, it's, it goes you know, just like the x-axis, and the sun rises on the y-axis. Okay, So to start out with a, we go negative 1 on the x-axis and then negative 1 on the y-axis. So that puts us right there. And then with B, we go 0, which means we don't move on the x-axis, but we go one unit up on the y-axis. That puts us right there. And then C, we go one unit right and three units up, putting us right there. And then all you have to do is plot those three points together by connecting them. Okay, and then from here, what we're going to do is we're going to learn how to graph with intercepts. Okay, so with intercepts, that means that you should probably find an equation of the line in this form. And if it's not in this form, you definitely want to put it into that form. But with the thing with math is you want to try and find the quickest route, the most efficient route. You don't have to work hard, you know, you have to work efficiently, right? So whatever is easiest to do. So if this is not easy then you know plot points with a table you, you see like you're gonna have to be able to interchange these methods so anyway let's make a note that for this type of problem a and b have to be factors of c okay so take this for example 2x plus 4y equals 4 2 and 4 are factors of 4 right so that tells us that we can do it so what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to cover each variable and solve the equations that we get when we cover those variables. So let's start out with y. Let's cover up our y value. When we cover it up, we're going to get the equation 2x equals 4. Solving that and we get x equals 2. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to move our hand over to the x side and solve this equation, 4y equals 4. So when we solve it, we get y equals 1. Now don't make the mistake of assuming that your point is 2 comma 1, like in the previous examples. Your point, remember, is based upon what you covered. So if you cover y, that technically means that y is 0. Okay, so on the first point where it says x equals 2, okay, what did you cover up? You covered up the y, exactly. So you cover up the y, meaning that it's 2 comma 0. And then the other point, you cover up x, making it 0 comma 1. And you can see right there. So then we're going to plot those two points. So that's 2 comma 0 and 0 1, and connect them. And that's our line. All right, now we're going to graph using the slope intercept method. Okay, so here's the slope intercept form y equals mx plus b. Definitely want to remember it because it comes up quite a bit and definitely in future classes as well. So in order to uh, do this, and by the way, this is a very easy method to do if it's in this form. 
um, we're going to have to know what each part means. So m represents our slope, which is considered rise over run. Okay, So rise, that means either up or down, and run means left or right. Okay, And b is our y-intercept. So the y-intercept is anywhere at 0, comma b, whatever b is. So let's take our example. y equals 1 third x plus 2. So first, let's label these, OK? So the y-intercept is at 0, 2. And then our slope is at 1 third. So we're going to start at 0, 2, OK? And that's right there. And then the slope is one unit up from that point and three to the right. So just trace, uh, maybe with your cursor or your finger, just trace up to one unit up above that red dot and then go three units over. And that's exactly where the next point should be. So now that you have two points, you have enough points to plot. And uh, if your teacher requires maybe three points, then just repeat the process from the new dot, okay, where you go up one and over three. But anyway, with those two dots, I'm going to connect them to make our line. All right, now let's have you do some questions on your own. So here's question one, okay, question two, and question three. All right, take a look at these. Try and work them out on your own first and then we're going to cover them. So uh, I'm going to switch over to the answers in 3, 2, and 1. Here we go. So here's answer number 1. Graph x plus 2y over 3 equals 6. All right, so step 1, let's clear the fraction, OK? So we're going to multiply by 3, the LCD, or the least common denominator. So the 3s are going to cancel out on the left, leaving us with x plus 2y equals 18. Now this should look familiar. It is the intercept method, okay? So we're going to use the graphing with intercepts method. So cover up each variable, okay? And you're going to get two intercepts, which are at 18, 0, and 0, 9. So then plot those two points and graph the line. Just as easy as that. Okay, answer number two. This time we have 2 fifths x minus y equals 3. So notice that this is not going to be very easy with uh, the intercept method because if we cover them we're going to get a fraction for our answer so in this case it's honestly better to use a different method and we're going to use the y-intercept method so notice that we're going to have to rearrange this so let's isolate y so we get negative y equals negative two-fifths x plus three if you're wondering how I did that I just subtracted the two-fifths x to the other side of the equal sign now at this point, we don't want negative y, we want it to be positive y. So let's divide by negative 1 to get rid of it on y. That way we get y equals 2 fifths x minus 3. And then all you have to do is graph that using the y-intercept method. And you can rewind to see how to do that. All right, now, answer number 3. So this is not like what we've been doing before. These are a little bit different. So the way you do these is you're going to make your point where it says. So if it says x equals 1, then you're going to go one unit on the x-axis and then make a vertical line, OK? And then for your y, you go to that point on the y-axis and make a horizontal line. So what you're going to get, OK, that's the first point, x equals 1. There's y equals 2. And now make a line through them. So that's the line, and that's the line. And that's how you graph problems that look uh, with a single variable. So x equals whatever and then y equals whatever. All right, congratulations. You've made it this far, so you're doing awesome. I wish you the best of luck in your classes. Please feel free and message me, leave a comment, say anything that you'd want to see a tutorial on. And don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much.